Welcome back to Taste of the Caribbean on the Callaloo Network. We have Chef Bill Tree here, who's going to teach us how to make a fancy Alfredo sauce. Yep. Now, an Alfredo sauce is a traditional heavy cream sauce, but you're going to add a little bit of blue cheese today? Yes. Okay, and why are you adding the blue cheese? What's the blue cheese going to add to the Alfredo? It enhances the flavor to me. Okay. Yeah. A, little. a little kick yeah. okay. with the shrimp. I mean, it doesn't sound, some people don't think it's Alfredo. Um, I mean, shrimp and blue cheese, but when you taste the combination like together it. with the pasta, trust me, it's the die for. Okay, and that's something we can get here at Reminis? Yeah, we're here at Reminis. Okay, isn't that, is it one of your specials? Yes, one of my specials. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's get started. So okay. what are the main ingredients main for ingredients, an Alfredo sauce? Um, putting Alfredo sauce, Parmesan cheese, okay. blue cheese, white wine, garlic, butter, salt, pepper, heavy cream, and parsley. Okay. And the shrimp, of course. Yes, and of course the shrimp. Okay. And people can substitute chicken. Yeah, yeah you can do chicken. You can do scallops. scallops. Yes. Okay. Are you going to um, start okay. by adding some butter to the pan? No, no, this is for one serving. Yes, one okay. serving. So about how much butter? A tablespoon. A tablespoon of butter. Mm -hmm. Oops. Garlic. How, about, how much garlic? About a half a tablespoon. Okay. So we're over medium heat. Medium heat, yeah. And you just cook in the garlic. That smells good. Once again. Butter and garlic. It doesn't get better than that. No, we don't. <laughs> that does smell good. Yeah, I don't want, I want the garlic to brown. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of white wine. Okay. So the white wine is just a basic wine that you can buy yes. in the liquor store off yes. the shelves. Any basic wine okay. um, you get off the um, but wine is important to the sauce, yes. correct? Yes, okay. it enhances the flavor. Okay. Got it, thank you, Chef. What I do is, uh, I'll let you do it, and I'll put my shrimp. One. So for a uh, one size portion, you think five shrimp sticks? Yeah, five shrimp, okay. yeah. Can you let it cook for me? No, I always have a hard time with shrimp, because I never really know how long to cook the shrimp. What's the good trick for us? How can yeah. you teach us how not these, to overcook the shrimp? These shrimp is a... It's too tough. These are peel and deveined. Okay. Like in the middle. When, this, when right here gets nice and pink, okay. when that pink reaches in the middle, it's time to flip it. All right. And I use tails on because uh, this was where all the flavor is at. The tail, the shells for the shrimp. Flavor. Okay. Yeah, she's starting to get pink. So just when it starts yeah. to turn pink when a little turn, bit? When it starts pink and the pink gets up to the middle, mm -hmm. you flip you just it. Just flip it, okay. And that's interesting that you um, leave the tail on because it has so much flavor. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to leave the whole skin on because you don't want to eat the shrimp with the pasta. No, I just... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like that's... <laughs> you stop right there at the tail. <laughs> okay, so okay, it's slightly yeah. turning color. Yeah, see. Takes about a few seconds. Okay. Yeah. No, and it's okay if the shrimps. I mean, is it okay to, to have them if they're not all the way cooked? I mean, you don't. No, I prefer to cook them okay. um, all the way. Okay. But on a medium heat, it's not going to get tough. Okay. Yeah, if you get it on a high heat, it's very pink. Flip them up. Flip them up. Yeah, flip them over. You always know, get the pink right here to the middle. Let's flip it. No, if you would add scallops with this dish, would you cook the scallops with the shrimp? Yes, or I will cook it. I will cook it with the shrimp, but I will put the scallops after the shrimp. Okay. I use it two seconds after the shrimp. The it scallops. It go faster. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, it's nice and pink. Mhm. Mm and that wasn't yeah. long at all. That was yeah. just a couple minutes. A couple seconds it takes. Okay. Smell that. That's really, really good. It does smell good. See how the white wine mm -hmm. is reduced to yep. half the amount that it was. And that's when I got. Add my heavy cream. Okay, so the next after you saute the yep. shrimp is the heavy cream. Heavy cream. Okay. Yeah. And this is about a cup of heavy cream. Heavy cream. Okay. A cup. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the heavy cream. I'm gonna let it cook and reduce for half the amount of the liquid. Okay. And that's when I crumble in my blue cheese and taste it the flavor and then add salt and pepper. And how long is that? How long does that usually take? This takes to the, reduce it. A couple to minutes? reduce, yeah, about a minute. Well, about a minute, it'll take maybe less than that. So we want to keep a close look on this. Then. Yeah, you don't want it to you don't want dry it. up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because as it as it reduces with the heavy cream, it gets thick. Okay. 
Now you said that today you chose linguini. Now is there a reason why you chose linguini? Does linguini stick better to like the, the um, heavy cream sauces? Versus like a penne or a rigatoni? Well, it all depends. You know, I think most people that come out here, uh, they often ask for linguine. Okay. Um, you would, we have penne on the menu and angel here, but I know this down here in the Caribbean. They prefer the linguine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But nobody's saying that. You can't have it with angel here or penne. So right. It's your preference. Well, you kind of associate linguine yeah. with kind of seafood pastas. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Parmesan cheese is something that all Alfredo sauces are, that's the ingredient that's yeah. what it's called for. And your twist is the blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Is there um, another tr cheese you could add in besides the blue cheese? Um, well, not with the shrimp. When I do the chicken, I add a, a smoked gouda. Smoked gouda. Smoked gouda, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, when I do chicken, not shrimp. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's boiling the stuff in the no, could you use gorgonzola cheese? Yes, you can use gorgonzola cheese. Okay. And for the people at home, gorgonzola cheese has its more of a pungent taste. Yes, yes mm -hmm. it is. So even if you wanted to kick it up more. Yeah. <laughs> gorgonzola. See it's starting to thicken yeah. on the edges. Mm -hmm. Right here. It's starting to get nice and thick. This is why I add blue cheese. So that's yeah, that's a nice amount of blue cheese. Yeah, I'm not gonna use. I'm using about maybe a tablespoon and a half of blue cheese. And blue cheese we can find at most of the stores. Yes, you can. Okay. Most of your local grocery carry the blue cheese. Let's just kind of this up a little bit, and you kind of want to have a little bit of um, chunks in there. Okay. You know, but it enhances the flavor when you get into it mm -hmm. with the pasta. But you still want to break it. Yeah. Apart. Yeah. What I'm doing, I'm just chopping it a little bit. You want some of the melt with the sauce. Right. That's what's going to flavor the sauce. And you see, I need a little bit of, you know, not too big pieces. And that's it. Cool. Be done so doing. this is something you want to prepare just before yeah, you want to eat it. Right before okay. you want to eat it. Let me move these for you, Chef. Thank you. What I do is, uh, just like that. Place them around. Sauce. Just drizzle a little bit right over the shrimp because you want to get the flavor and everything. There you go. And then to the end, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Oh, okay, just on top yeah, as a garnish. Top, the garnish. And I throw some chopped parsley. And if you don't have parsley, you could even do a basil. Fresh basil is good too. Beautiful. There you go. Great. <laughs> and once again, Chef, this is our shrimp with blue cheese alfredo. Yes, it is. One of your signature dishes. Right here at Reminis. Right here at Reminis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yum.